Hi everybody, uh, this is Mr. Roche. I was working to show you um, ways to not use the scanner and use the um, the standard library um, up here from ALGS4 um, to um, to do some of the same work, okay? Um, I actually think that this isn't going to be a big problem because you guys are basically going to make random things when you do the percolation assignment, but, um, but this will help you, okay? So if you want to try, um, try it this way, um, what's going on is I have a UF class here, right? And um, I'm running a file called um, Tiny Test, which is the test that was shown in the, the description before, okay? Currently I'm using a scanner, okay? But what I can do is there's a, there's a, a library that comes with ALGS uh, for it's and there's a thing in there. It's not standard in, but there's a thing called in. So if you go like this in, like you call it in equals um, new um, in, and then what we can do is give it. Um, we're gonna give it one of the string arguments. So we're gonna say this. So we're gonna call it args. Like it's coming from here. So we say args. Um, zero since you got an array of strings it's going like that okay so and then um if you go to this right and you do up here we go here and you go to the run configurations what i'm doing is um hopefully i'm in the right place yeah is my argument list is just like tiny test the name of the file so that's going to come in as a string right and that's going to be fine. Okay. So if I do that, then I don't have to do the scanner thing anymore. Okay. Once I do this, I have, um, I need to get the integer out of tiny, um, tiny test, which is like the 10, I need to get that 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to do this, but I'm going to say int n equals um, in, since that's my thing dot and then there's a thing i believe it says read right. so um so that's good too okay so these these two lines can go away right here and this one can go away okay now over here i have to do something different so i'm going to say in dot um let me see let's say in dot um, is empty, which means it got the end of the file. So I'm going to change this. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to do this while it's not empty. And then I'm just going to do the same kind of thing I did before. I'm going to read P. So we have some in P. And that's going to be in. Uh, sorry, this thing keeps um, jumping on me. Okay, so so what I did is I replaced the S next to it with a read it, and I'm going to do the same thing with this line as well. I'm going to say int q equals in dot in dot read in. And there, that's it. And then coming down here, um, I think this thing closes by itself, so I don't need this. Okay. And that's that's basically how you do this. So what I did was I made a change to this. I made a change here. I made a change here. And I made a change here. Okay. And what I'm doing is when I run, um, and this allows me to use Princeton stuff. Okay. Like it's allowing me to use the, the algs for in basically and this will allow the file to get opened up um, i did this before and uh, hopefully it should work fine so that's what's going on there and this ends up like this um so that's basically it um i can clean this up just by erasing these And that's 
how you use the course stuff to open up your files. Okay. Um, I think one thing is that when you get to the actual assignment, um, you don't need to use um, you don't need to use um, um, a file because I think what they do, I think what you're doing is you're generating random patterns. So I think it's going to work out anyway. But this is just because we talked about it. This is what you would do to do the um, do the do a file with open using um, what's in the Princeton uh, uh, toolbox there. Okay, so that's it, and um, I will uh, talk to you later.